It is true to say there's no love lost between these two sides, Real Madrid and Barcelona. And today they find themselves on a collision course here at the Bernabeu. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position. Sitting alongside me, ready to provide expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. Stuart, it's a privilege to be here. Well, it certainly is, Derek. This is a bitter rivalry between two of Europe's best, and I just can't wait for this one. It should be an absolute classic. Benzema, who's played at such a high level in an attacking sense for so long. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him here? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. side Thibaut Courtois is in goal Federico Valverde plays with Tony Kors in the center of midfield and operating through the middle in attack today Karim Benzema and here's the starting 11 for Barcelona Marc-Andre Ter Stegen in goal Frankie de Jong plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And the starting role and attack today is handed to Robert Lewandowski. And the contest begins. Tony Kroos. Valverde. Carvajal. And the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. Sergio Busquets. Lewandowski. Now Busquets. Good bit of pressing. It's there for him. De Jong. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Oh, good use of the ball. Rafinha cross blocked Busquets disappointing for Barcelona to give it away like that Tony Kroos plenty of options he's got the right idea with that pass the attack carried an initial threat but fizzled out Karim Benzema here's Carvajal and cutting inside Benzema here's Modric course well it looked highly promising but they got nothing out of it Lewandowski and with that the attack fizzles out and Real's creative tendencies coming to the fore but a shot from miles out. Well, tremendous block. Rafinha. Well, no stopping him. Jordi Alba. 
Now Jordi Alba. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Can he give them the lead? And there it is, the opening goal, 1-0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. start the game disappointed to have conceded can they find an equalizer showing a real will to win the ball Carvajal Valverde Benzema the ball with Luka Modric Will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Benzema. And a significant block following that cross. And the upshot of that is offside. Well, he needed to look elsewhere because the flag was always going to go up. Pressure high up the pitch. Carvajal. Now with Benzema. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. And players waiting in the centre. Karim Benzema. Here's Kroos. And return to Modric. My goodness, the importance of getting there was not lost on the keeper. Pedri. Ansu Fati. Lewandowski. Now Busquets. And back with Lewandowski. Vinicius Junior racing forward trying to catch them out and possibilities inside the box oh it comes to nothing in the end really should have made more of that Pedri. Lewandowski now. Jordi Alba. Lewandowski. Now Busquets. Pedri. On attacking possibilities. Lewandowski. Very quick thinking there. Karim Benzema looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game they're trying to take their time but not enough care on the ball Pedri Sergio Busquets and a good looking ball and clears his lines well, they're sitting ever deeper. Could be troublesome. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper.
An encouraging move from Barca. Crossing possibilities. Lewandowski. Just made sure nothing came of that. Opportunity. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Delivering it. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Busquets. Jules Koundé on the ball. An alert piece of defending. Carvajal. This is Kroos, and he read it well. Lewandowski. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Rodrigo, now with Benzema. Rodrigo. an own goal no wonder he's hanging his head well as the replay shows us that will be classed as an own goal he's a bit unlucky there and that is that half time here in the Spanish capital This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a very good first 45 minutes. He scored a good goal, was a constant threat and looked dangerous whenever he was on the ball. I'm sure he'd be the key player in the second half. Underway here at the Bernabeu. Now Jordi Alba. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Can he give them the lead? And there it is, the opening goal, 1-0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Opportunity. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Down as an own. Second half excitement to come, we hope, here at the Bernabeu. Could run onto it here. Defended well. Sergio Busquets. Now with Benzema. Top class defending. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Lewandowski. Oh, he's through here. And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage. Hey. Hey. 
Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So the game has been restarted. What sort of response will that elicit from Real Madrid? Rafinha. How about the cross? A poor cross, all things considered. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. No way through. Lewandowski. And a chance to whip it in here. Now sliding in field. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Benzema, plenty of support here, but nothing comes of it. Great effort to keep that one in play. Frankie de Jong, Pedri. Could cross it in here. De Jong. Well, he was dreaming of scoring, but ruled offside. Well, it all happened very quickly, so I wouldn't criticise him too much. At least he was in there. Modric is with Vinicius Junior. Pedri. This is Robert Lewandowski, and he's in. Lewandowski. And a very good challenge. Benzema. And now Rodrigo. Moving forward effectively. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Excellent block by Busquets. Well, just listen to the fans. They know this is a big chance here. Short corner favourite. Karim Benzema in the thick of things. But keeper's ball. They'll be disappointed with that delivery. No oh, mistake by the keeper. Tony Kors. The ball with Luka Modric. Kors making quite a bit of progress. And the flag does go up, must have been tight. Vinicius Jr. Will he play it in? No frustration for those waiting in the middle. A Real corner then. Can they get themselves back into the game? So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Now how about the shot? 
short corner. Cross fired over. Well, in fact, a bit too close to the goalkeeper. And that was always going to be claimed. Vinicius Junior and Valverde. Well, he needed to read it to get there and did. And the body in the way. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Fired over by Kors. High-class defending right on the goal line. Oh, yes! As pure a header as you're likely to see. And he ought to be very proud of that one. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Just 15 minutes remaining. Pedri. Lewandowski. On to Kessier. And a goal here! There it is! They've done it! Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? He's using his strength to good effect. Tempele. Return to Lewandowski. Well, it could be on for him here. In it goes! But it will not stand. Offside, Stewart. Well, it looked close, didn't it? He certainly thought so. He's making that clear to the linesman now. Benzema, the ball with Luka Modric, Benzema, Modric, they're showing a willingness to attack as they must given the circumstances, time running out, a well, fine use of the ball, and you need your defender to take charge, a creative look about this, a well, disappointing end to the move, Lewandowski. Well, I think the fans are doing everything they can to get their team back into this. But can they find that moment of inspiration and get an equaliser? Five minutes to go. Lewandowski. Tempele. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Will they profit from this situation? Out of play, Real Madrid throw here. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. How about the cross? Oh, he's given us away.
Benzema! And the keeper throws himself at the ball. Time really is of the essence. What can they do from this situation? over the corner and nicely parried away well as a defender that will sit you down to the ground Marco Asensio it's there for him no oh, keeper in control He's driven in the corner. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. And the referee brings this match to a close. Not the result Real Madrid were looking for. I wonder what you made of this. Well, Derek, it was a hard-fought contest, which neither side completely dominated, but the result will certainly hurt them. They need to bounce back next time out. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Stuart. Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent, and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today. Now Jordi Alba. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Can he give them the lead? And there it is, the opening goal, 1-0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Modric! Oh, it's gone in, and that will be written down as an own goal. It is a derby rivalry here in Madrid that goes all the way back to 1906. Atletico against Real. Can't wait for this one. I'm Derek Ray, and alongside me, ready to provide expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. This ought to be special, Stuart. Well, this is a great derby, particularly in recent years. Let's hope we get a good game here between two excellent teams playing at their very best. the starting lineup for Atletico. Jan Oblak gets the nod in goal. Thomas Lamar starts alongside Rodrigo De Paul in central midfield. And up front, Antoine Griezmann starts alongside Morata. And the starting players for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Federico Valverde plays with Tony Kroos in the centre of the park. And the main goal-scoring threat provided today by Karim Benzema.
looking forward to this tremendously. Atletico Madrid get things started. Griezmann. Koke. Morasa. Very quick thinking there. Federico Valverde. How can he take them on and beat them? And the goal disallowed. You can see why. Offside, Stuart. Yeah, and I think he knew as well. Immediately looked over his shoulder to check for the linesman. to like about this Atletico move a very timely interception Vinicius and a chance to whip it in here oh big opportunity a goal they've opened the scoring in the derby and I'll tell you what you can hear a pin drop in here. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. call for Atletico and they find a response here Carrasco it's with Hermoso Koke just knocking it around looking to carve out a chance Griezmann On to Koke. Lamar. And blocked for now. Griezmann. Blocked again. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Vinicius Junior. Benzema making a more than decent run well nothing comes of it it looked promising Morata on to Benzema and a strong tackle Griezmann Benzema he's in behind and he takes it on oh denied by the keeper well what more can you say that's goalkeeping at its very best to his defensive chores Carvajal now Eder Meritao Federico Valverde Real Madrid couldn't maintain possession Carrasco
cross blocked. Benzema. Here's Carvajal. Karim Benzema. Modric. Is with Vinicius Junior. Rodrigo. Benzema. Here's Kroos. Vinicius. And back with Kroos. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. And there's the delivery. Well, nothing comes of it. Vinicius Jr. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. De Paul. Morata. That's well blocked. Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. Morata. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Well, these fans have had to be patient. Could this be the equaliser? in by Griezmann well the goalkeeper doing what he's paid to do another corner playing it in well they couldn't take advantage of the chance Griezmann and Morata's in the vicinity but keeper's ball they'll be disappointed with that delivery Benzema the ball with Luka Modric Federico Valverde Modric well that takes the wind out of their sails great defending Griezmann and here's Lamar very quick thinking there Griezmann and here's Lamar and possibilities here fluency of movement Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Benzema. This is Kroos. Karim Benzema. Here's Carvajal. Real find themselves in a position of menace. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Koke. Now well, Molina. Morata. Not really the ideal clearance. And just slightly offside.
Karim Benzema. Now they're on the scent of something positive. Just the challenge that was required. De Paul. Griezmann. Fine movements from Morata. Referees are rightly praised for giving advantage, but when there is no advantage, it has to be a free kick. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. That's a routine take. Look at Modric with the pass. And so it is, the first half has come to an end here in the Spanish capital. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but he's general. And the contest begins. Well, it is advantage Real after the first 45 minutes, but there's a long way from being settled. Really doing a fine job of protecting the ball. Brilliantly blocked. And a goal! Incredible header! Well, as you can see, he gets there first, he makes good contact with the ball and finds the back of the net. That's a decent header. Underway. Lamar. Molina. De Paul. Now well, Molina. Morata. On to Koke. Just cutting off the supply. There's a slide rule pass. Well, they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Koke. Now well, Molina. Griezmann. Griezmann. And back with Morata. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Opportunity for them to get back into the game. And it goes to reduce the deficit. Still very much alive and kicking. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Eduardo Camavinga is with Vinicius Junior. Good movement. Rodrigo. How can they make one of these passes count? Expert piece of finishing from Benzema. Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion. Oh, 
underway again with the score at 3 1. That's very effective use of advantage in favour of Atletico. Now, well, Molina. Real Madrid doing well to regain possession here. Might be a chance here. Oh, denied by the keeper. Well, what more can you say? That's goalkeeping at its very best. It is an Atletico substitution. And fired over by Kroos. No keeper will mind that sort of corner. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Morata. Oh, possibilities in the centre. Taking care of business defensively here. Griezmann. Griezmann! Well, here's the replay, and he's got to clear his lines there. He doesn't do that. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. Poor defending. Back in action then, and Atletico right back in this contest now. Vinicius Junior into the advanced position and a chance to whip it in here of course now oh, that's fine goalkeeping real concentration and here's a change now for Atletico Short corner it is. Cross blocked. So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. And over it comes. Any goalkeeper would accept corner kick deliveries like that every day. Yes, man. And here's Lamar. Can he take advantage? And there it is. But hang on, the flag has gone up and it's not going to count. Well, it was a close call, but he is just offside. Good finish, mind you. for Real Madrid <laughs> given away by Real Madrid Griezmann oh a smart stop to take it short here and that is how to block whipped in by Griezmann fisted clear De Paul, Griezmann, a smart stop here. And 
the substitution will occur now. They favoured a short one here. Not away completely. Jimenez. It's with Helmozo. And a timely intervention. Well, those stats show us that Real Madrid haven't had that much of the ball. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Well, that's right. Preserving the lead and doing it really well. Vinicius. And there the attack ends for now. Karim Benzema. And still looking to get the shot off. And it's offside. That was very close. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Nearing the end of the game, and Atletico chasing this one, Stuart. Well, what a finale this will be. They've had so many chances throughout the game, but they just need to find a composed finish in the dying moments. They've certainly deserved something from this game, but time is running out. So a throw in for Real Madrid. Aurelien Chouameni. Benzema. Oh, a vital interception. Carrasco. Well, what support these Atletico fans are giving the team. But time isn't on their side. They need a goal quickly. Now, options are plenty. And this could pose problems for the defenders. And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking back now, surely. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Scoreline 4-2. Aurelien Chouameni. And a textbook interception. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. All hands on deck. Could pull one back here. Which he does! And maybe, just maybe, there's enough time for an equaliser. It would be quite the frenetic turnaround. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And what a clinical finish this is from Correa. He hits it with such power. That's a good goal. He has teammates around him. Well, do they have a goal in the future? They're giving it a go. Oh, fine stop. Time really is of the essence. What can they do from this situation?
Griezmann tasked with taking the corner. Still not clear. Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. De Paul. And throwing himself at the ball. in by Griezmann not no end product good technique display Carrasco body in the way Well, shielding the ball admirably. There's a slide draw pass. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. So the referee brings this match to an end. And for Atletico and their supporters, the bitter taste of defeat for them. Your assessment of the performance. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. A positive night's work for Karim Benzema. Sum up his performance for us. Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display. And a chance to whip it in here. Well, the atmosphere has been building up all day long and we're almost ready for kickoff here at Stamford Bridge. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It is Chelsea facing Real Madrid. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. the lineup for Chelsea well it's a 4-3-3 with two out and out wingers but they do vary their movement they give width but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank their performances will be key today And the starting players for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Vinicius Jr. starts with Rodrigo out wide. And the lead striker today is Karim Benzema. Thank you for attending Stamford Bridge. Enjoy the game.
And the match is underway. Valverde. Magnificent defending. Kai Havertz. Gallagher. And return to Sterling. Havertz! Oh my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class! Fantastic technique! Well, here it is again. Sterling's cross really does invite somebody to attack it, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So Real restart the game. Disappointed to have conceded. Can they find an equaliser? Tony Kroos. Federico Valverde. And now Rodrigo. Patient enough build-up. Can they carve out a chance? Conte. Madueke. And Havertz. And return to Conte. And crossing towards the far post. Well, in fact, a bit too close to the goalkeeper. And that was all was going to be claimed. Intercepting it intelligently. Rodrigo, Vinicius Jr. just straying offside. Gallagher and Havertz now Chelsea in a position of menace great block Conte got to it easily the keeper Kai Havertz Straight offside, but only just. <laughs> Modric. This is Kroos. The ball with Luka Modric. Extremely sloppy in possession. N'Golo Conte. And successfully cut out. Noni Madueke. Sterling. This might be ideal for the counter. Havertz. It has to be. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, but there's still plenty to do from here. 
He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So the ball rolling again at 2 0. Benzema. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Benzema. Here's Kroos. Carvajal. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. And they keep the ball. Advantage Chelsea. Sterling. Here's Chilwell. Excellent vision. Chilwell. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. Fernandez. And fed forwards. Chilwell. Sterling has it. Sterling. And Real with the ball again. And a throw in forthcoming. Carvajal. And Valverde. What can Real do from this position? And thwarted there following the cross. Sloppy Carvajal. Well, it's been quite clear that Chelsea have been second best in terms of possession, but what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. And having to soak up a bit of pressure again here. It could be up for grabs. And second time around, he scores! But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Let's take another look at this, and from the attacking point of view, everything's right. The shot across the goalkeeper, players coming in for the rebound, and there's not much the goalkeeper could do about that. He made a good effort on the first one, couldn't react to the second. On they go again, and I wonder, can Real push for a leveller here? Fernandez. Well, almost at half time here, and it's Chelsea on top. Stuart, interested to get your thoughts as regards what they've put into the game. Well, it's been a good watch so far. Both sides have tried to play on the front foot, but they do look more threatening in the attacking areas. And in my view, they deserve to be in front. Tony Kroos. Vinicius Junior. A wonderful intervention. This might be the perfect counter attacking opportunity. Madueke. Sterling has it. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Can he finish? Determined defending. Benzema! Well, goodness me, into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp. What a shocking pass, really. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? Well, he's allowed it to go over the touchline, so a throw in. Federico Valverde. Benzema. The ball with Luka Modric. Karim Benzema. Oh, 
of possibilities inside the box. Benzema. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. And that'll be a Chelsea ball. Sterling. Conte has it. Havertz. And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. And so the first half draws to a close here in West London. But well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Yeah, he's done okay in that first half. He's had a lot of the ball, he's used it well, and he's been energetic. But unfortunately, that can't be said about the rest of the team, who need to improve if they're going to turn this around. And this confrontation is underway. And return to Sterling. Havertz! Oh, my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class! Havertz! It has to be! Now well, they get the ball rolling once more. Chelsea in front, but there might still be a few twists and turns before this is over. Excellent defending. Benzema. And Valverde. Useful looking ball. Excellent block. Noni Madueke. Attacking possibilities for Chelsea. But they dealt with the threat first. Benzema. And he read it superbly. Valverde Rodrigo Benzema Modric Oh a goal The equaliser They've completely changed the equation Well that's really good awareness of the situation He just places that beyond the keeper That's a top class finish Not many sides would have the mental strength to bounce back from adversity like this team. N'Golo Conte. Well, nicely cut out. Now what can they do with the ball? Federico Valverde. Tony Kroos. And showing fine vision. Attending to his defensive chores. Benzema. Gives it a go. It's in. And this really takes your breath away. A comeback and a half. Well, let's take another look at this ball by Benzema. He gets the timing absolutely right, and then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal.
So underway again with Real Madrid in front. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Carvajal. Here's Valverde. Spraying passes around, almost waiting for the opposition to make a mistake. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. And space to cross it. Thirty minutes left for play. And Golo Conte. Good technique displayed. Conte. Poor attempt at a pass, really. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. Determined defending. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. It's a short one. And danger still. Well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. Rodrigo on to Benzema and Valverde great opportunity well I think you could call that an escape it looked a certain goal and Sterling has it And now Havertz, superb block. And the challenge, the tackle completely missed time, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Well, they've decided to make a change. Number four, David Alaba. Really good attacking play. Alaba. Well, the cross came over and a real need to get rid of the ball here. Real defensive resilience. Intercepting it intelligently. Attacking possibilities for Real. Chance to finish. And a goal to increase their advantage. It's a two-goal lead now. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. This is so the current scoreline, 4-2. Please meet Jennifer Bassett at the ticket office. Conte and a poor ball well Real Madrid have certainly dominated the ball as you can see and they've made good use of it they really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more yes it's going to plan and they might be able to carve out another chance can he take the chance and it goes! A three-goal cushion, and you truly sense it's a matter of how many!
Well, it's great awareness of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. Over the top towards Raheem Sterling. Enzo Fernandez. And well, he stopped them in their tracks. Being pressed and pressed high. Free kick to Chelsea. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Just 10 minutes to go. Using his strength to shield the ball. It's still there for him. And there it is! A goal! But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. Scoreline we see all that often. 5-3. Rodrigo. David Alaba. And Valverde. Useful looking ball. High echelon goalkeeping there. Given away by Chelsea. Modric. And Valverde. And space for them here on the flank. They've got it now, what can they do? Asensio. He continues his run. Alaba. Here's Marco Asensio. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And cleared away. Course. Really doing a fine job of protecting the ball. Alaba. Here's Valverde. A really top notch piece of defending. Pulisic this is Thiago Silva Havertz now potential danger in it goes it looked as though they were down and out not a bit of it what will happen next well here's the replay what a pass this is from Havertz and the finish is clinical it just makes it look so easy doesn't it So there goes the final whistle. Real Madrid victorious, and their fans are going to be happy with this. Well, Derek, it was a really tight game, but they were the better side over the 90 minutes, and they fully deserved their victory today. Well, Luka Modric generally so very creative. The difficult thing, Stuart, is trying to contain him, as the opposition have discovered. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat. 
and he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And without doubt, a match with the potential to bring genuine excitement. It's Italy versus Argentina. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully we get a really good game here. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Francesco Acerbi plays alongside Rafael Toloi in central defence. Marco Verratti starts alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack.
the Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Lionel Messi starts with Angel Di Maria on the flanks. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And so the battle commences. Barella Barella Jorginho Back with Barella He'll be breathing a sigh of relief Ball one The high press was very much on. Well, in every football generation, there's a player who stands above me, Immortals, and Lionel Messi falls in that category. Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. Verratti. It's with Paredes. Paredes. Di Maria. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. High quality defending. Messi. On to Spinazzola. Well, he's given us away. Alvarez. And slipped through beautifully. Good strength to keep the ball. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say, the good value for the lead. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1-0. Verratti. Oh, that's a fine pass. Pellegrini. On to Verratti. Now well, they stopped them in their tracks. Enzo Fernandez. Messi putting his body on the line Lionel Messi Di Maria and a goal calls for celebrations again two in front Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And what a clever bit of play it is from Di Maria, both with his movement and his finish. That's a nice goal. Yeah. 
So underway once more. 2-0 the lead here. Marcos Acuna. Crossing opportunity. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. And does well to keep it in play. Verratti. Plenty of support here. What a good place to win it back. And let's see what it leads to. And still pressing. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Good movement. Alvarez. Berardi has it. An incisive pass. Verratti. Could reduce the deficit. And he does. There is hope for them. Despite the adversity they suffered earlier. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end. But his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. Paredes. Alvarez. Di Maria. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Di Maria. No hiding from the fact that they really should have extended their lead. Well, that was a poor miss. Could they come to regret that? Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Now with Jorginho. Domenico Berardi. Berardi. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Enzo Fernandez. Chance to do damage. Messi, chance to finish. And the keeper diving to thwart him. Messi with the corner. It hasn't come to very much. Di Maria. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, that is how to break up a counter-attack. Has a go. Terrific block. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Now with Jorginho. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. And fine work by Argentina to recover possession. Options for Di Maria. But really sticking to the task defensively. 
Let's see if something comes of this. Can he put it away? Oh, magnificent reaction. And he did well to cut it out. Verratti. Surely! Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Well, it's been a while, but these fans are now coming to life. Can they equalise here? And short it is. Pellegrini. On to Barella. Verassi. Can he find the net? Body in the way. And so it is. The first half story has been written. Well, we say this quite a lot in commentary, don't we, Stuart? Lionel Messi excelling in the first half. Well, Derek, he's been a constant threat. He's shown lots of energy, great skill at times, a good understanding of how to find space, and he's scored a well-taken goal. He just needs to be more clinical in the second half. And now they get the ball rolling. Good strength to keep the ball. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Lionel Messi. Verratti. And he does! There is hope for them, despite the adversity they suffered earlier. In with a chance. No hiding from the fact that they... Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Now can they counter clinically? All hands on deck. Marcos Acuna. On to Di Maria. Well, they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Spinazzola. Lorenzo Pellegrini with it. Pellegrini. And the emphasis is on creativity giving it a try and he did so well to move across and deal with the danger corner kick played in well, full marks to him for that header, but the goalkeeper did his job. Well, another corner following on from the last one. And taken short. Well, quite simply, the cross was too close to the keeper. Enzo Fernandez. Well, very effective play in possession. 
has eyes for goal body on the line Jorginho Pellegrini Verratti now it's a good looking ball in behind Verratti ready to pounce oh he saved it well Barella and the corner has been given and there's the delivery the keeper was never likely to be in trouble then Messi Paredes 30 minutes left for play and the tackling like that the onus is on the referee to take action potentially well it was apparently a bookable offence well no debate over that one it's a yellow card all day long Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. Real chance! And there it is! A two-goal cushion now and they just need to keep the concentration. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. So there it is. 3-1 the current scoreline here. And strong play here. He has time to play it over. Will he finish? And a really good diving stop. Who can they pick out? Leonardo Spinazzola. Well, spot on with that challenge. Messi has the strength to hang on to it. And a chance to whip it in here. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Here it is now, a substitution. Martinez. Now this could be productive. A wonderful intervention. Matero Politano. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, it petered out. A danger here as he runs at them. And Messi! And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him.
Well, I think everybody knew what was coming, but he hid it so well, didn't he? Nobody could do anything about it. That's a good goal. Well, not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Barella, well he's given us away Martinez might be able to get in behind the defence Marcos Acuna a good and fair challenge and the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack Defenders need to cover. Di Lorenzo. Now with Barella. And he was in the right place to intercept. Now well Molina. Messi. De Paul. Di Maria waiting. I well, couldn't really direct it where he wanted. So making the substitution now. Di Maria keeps going but timely defending when it mattered breaking at pace and making use of his physical strength to hang on to it and diving to thwart it taken short it's one corner after another short corner taken Varela and a body in the way could be a chance to break here Martinez can they take advantage of the situation Di Maria sliding it through a goal and I'll tell you what on this sort of form very few would lay a glove on them Let's have a look at the replay. What a through ball this is by Di Maria. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Barella. Scamacca. Lorenzo Pellegrini with it. Boritano. Oh, what an astonishing goal! Almost from a different postal code. 
that was as clean as a whistle. You cannot strike them any better than that. Well, let's take another look because this is a special goal. He's so far out when he strikes it. He couldn't have hit that any better. Giovanni Lo Celso and the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes doing well to keep possession Di Maria showing a lot of guile there has the strength to hang on to it Fernandez Martinez onto Di Maria and that's sound goalkeeping Short corner favoured. De Paul. Giovanni Lo Celso. Very quick thinking there. Can he find the right pass? And the final whistle. A victory for Argentina. Precisely what their fans were hoping for, Stuart. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. The thing about Lionel Messi is we expect that he'll take games by the scruff of the neck, and he's done that this evening. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat, and he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was. Lionel Messi. And hello to you from the home of football here in London, Wembley Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And with kickoff just moments away, we really should be in for a magnificent occasion. It's England against Italy. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. 
The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Number 22, Jude Bellingham. Number 17, Mikhail Saka. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. Kyle Walker plays alongside Luke Shaw as fullbacks. Bukayo Saka plays with Jack Grealish in the wide positions. And the focal point in attack today, Harry Kane. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Rafael Toloi plays with Francesco Acerbi in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And so the battle commences. Jorginho Pellegrini throw into Italy Spinazzola can he convert well, closed down straight away oh, what a perfect ball now how about this Kane well read to ease the pressure. What can they do from here? Di Lorenzo. In position. And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Walker. Bellingham. Grealish. And Italy with the ball again. Barella. And he read it well. England looking dangerous. And as a defender, you really have to concentrate to the maximum to bar the door as he did then. Kane. No possibilities in the centre. Yeah. 
Barella. Verratti now. Well, is it going to end up being productive for them? And threading it forward. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. It's a short corner. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Jack Grealish. Walker now. Walker. And nicely struck. And diving to thwart him. And deciding to go short with this one. A very effective clearance. And Bellingham. And the keeper there to deal with it. And he's fired over the corner. And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. Well, another corner hot on the heels of the last one. Over it comes. Not away completely. Oh, managing to beat him. Well, not quite the cross he was hoping for. Leonardo Spinazzola. Pellegrini. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Spinazzola. And return to Jorginho. Opportunity! Terrific piece of anticipation! Oh, what's he gone and done? Constantly thwarted. Saka. Kane. And attempting the through ball. A really intense pressure applied. Oh, you don't want to lose the ball in that position. And quite simply, a wonderful chance was squandered. And a poor ball. And the counter looks on here, options available. Defenders need to cover. And he's keen on cutting in. But they dealt with the threat posed. Bellingham. Now Harry Kane. Declan Rice. Jude Bellingham. Grealish on to Kane firing it towards goal well the shot looked promising but the keeper had the measure of it Jorginho and winning it back Grealish he's very adept at protecting the ball Kane 
Now with Grealish. And now it's Phillips. Grealish. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Good-looking ball, there could be a chance now. And Bellingham. And return to Kane. He's got to score! And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? <laughs> Elects to go short. And Harry Kane ready to pounce. A very effective clearance. John Stones. And on to Bellingham. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Now with Spinazzola. And the counter-attack is on, options available. Well, the flag has gone up, it was really close. Calvin Phillips. Delightful pass. Shaw. Rice with it. Kane. And after the cross, a tremendous block. And the referee says corner kick. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, you're not going to bamboozle the goalkeeper with a corner like that. And the referee's whistle. We've reached the halfway point here at Wembley Stadium. What a really committed first-half performance by Harry Kane, Stuart. Well, he certainly got his team back into this game with that goal because up to that point, they hadn't played particularly well. I think he's had a decent first half, but he'll be looking to build on his goal in the second 45. Di Lorenzo. And threading it forward, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. And a super... Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. A 
Really effective shielding under pressure. And well, that's the end of that move for now. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? That's a lovely ball. Verratti. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Well, they're trying to get right into his face. Free kick awarded then by the referee. And they're making a change. Declan Rice now with Bellingham Grealish Harry Kane Kane excellent defending Shaw here's Grealish Bellingham Declan Rice and back with Kane and Bellingham can they forge ahead well they would have done had it not been for the keeper well they should be ahead now yes it was a good save Derek but he should score from there And played short. Played into the centre. Not messing around with that clearance. Kane. Very quick thinking there. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Clear foul play. And as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Tremendous block. With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Now, how about the short corner? Well, behind for another corner. It's a short corner. Takes aim. Oh, a goal! They've taken full advantage of a dreadful mistake by the goalkeeper. Well, just look at this again. What was he thinking? Too slow, too ponderous, and it's cost them a goal here. And England get us moving again. A quick response required after the setback. Can the owner of the red car registration be well, we're into the final half hour. Please return to your vehicle. The lights are on. And intercepted it. Domenico Berardi. Making progress. Di Lorenzo. Can he convert? Well, he'd be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. Jorginho. What can they do from here? Verratti.
strong play here. Verratti. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Trippier. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Well, it was a superb counter-attack, but no goal. Yeah, really good play. Won the ball back well and then countered with great speed. That deserved a goal. Pellegrini. Gianluca Scamacca. Lorenzo Pellegrini with it. Well, no stopping him. Big chance! And missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted opportunity. And England pushing forward with options available. Splendid tackle and a throw-in coming up. And Sterling has it. This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point. And momentum is with them. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. And a tidy challenge. Sterling. And return to Kane. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Barella. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Quarter of an hour remaining here. And Bellingham. And he has options available. Did look as though they might be onto something for a second or so. Barella. On to Pellegrini. And cuts inside. Could be. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. And a substitution in the offing. Taken short. Pellegrini. Slipshod passing. Tension building, still level. Options in the middle. Well, these players must be motivated. The crowd have been great. Can they now get the winner? Kane. Opportunity. Oh, he wasn't ruthless enough in front of goal. Keeper has it now. England moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Trippier. Can they forge ahead? Yes is the answer. And that could be oh so important.
Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. And the referee sees that as a foul, free kick given. Well, a little lucky to get away without a card. Might be his last warning, though. An interceptor there. And good work to deny the chance. Well, this might be the final opportunity to draw level. Now sending it in. Oh, a very fine header, but it wouldn't go in for him. Corner coming up. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And caught by the keeper. Harry Kane. And the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes. And attempting the through ball. Oh, splendid save. And it gives them some hope here. Not long left, though. Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. And played short. Sterling crossing. No nonsense clearance. Kane. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Will they profit from this situation? Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Spinazzola back to Pellegrini well that is how to nullify the opposition and the final whistle is sounded England victorious plenty of plus points and Stuart your analysis yes Derek sometimes it takes a while to eventually get the better of the opposition and that was the case here they kept going and they eventually got their reward So a positive night for Harry Kane. Sum up his performance for us. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is. Di Lorenzo. position and a goal not wasting much time today they strike first Grealish well the fans really want him to shoot and they've done it to square the game once again
exhilarating. Takes aim. Oh, a goal! They've taken full advantage of a dreadful mistake by the goalkeeper. And Sterling has it. This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point and momentum. Trippier. Can they forge ahead? Yes is the answer. And that could be oh so important.